Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and with Ikoria only a few days away, I'll be participating in the early streamer event thanks to Wizards. Um, so we'll be playing a bunch of decks, brewing them up right now, and walking you through some deck techs. Um, so the event is on April 15th. I'll be streaming on Twitch from about 1 p.m. Eastern onwards. Uh, so if you can, swing by. If not, everything will be archived back to YouTube afterwards over the next couple days. Um, if you do have any deck list that you're working on, any ideas, concepts, stuff like that, you want a, a soundboard, we can have some chats about it, stuff like that, I did post a community page on my YouTube channel. Um, some people have posted deck lists already. I'm going to be looking to play some user decks as well, hopefully, uh, depending on how much time we get on the event itself. Um, so the deck itself today is a Teamer Red, Blue, Green Song of Creation deck. So... This deck kind of reminds me of my Maelstrom Wander EDH deck. It's about free value, drawing cards, playing through your whole deck, playing extra lions, cheating in a way, it feels. Um, so Song of Creation is a 4-mana enchantment, uh, Teamer 1 for the casting cost. And it says, you may play an additional land on each of your turns. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, you get to draw two cards. Uh, but the drawback is, technically, at the beginning of your end step, you discard your hand. So the kind of way around this uh, is to play extra lands, obviously, um, but to use the adventure cards because you get the casting cost from the first half that triggers the draw too, but then the card goes on an adventure. So you can always cast it later and you don't have to worry about discarding it. The cards you do discard, we have Uro in the deck that you can then escape it back and then get Uro for extra value. Um, so this is the kind of concept of this deck is a bunch of free value, play out stuff, and either draw out your whole deck and win through Thassa's Oracle, uh, we have a Fae of Wishes sideboard package as well. And then I want to try out Genesis Ultimatum, which is the new Ultimatum cycle for it. It's so kind of walking you through some of the cards. We have Fae of Wishes, which I'll highlight the wish board in a sec. Uh, we have two Thassa's Oracles. If when it enters the battlefield, if your devotion to blue is greater than the number of cards in your library, you win the game. Uh, Bone Crusher is removal. Brazen Boros disruption and removal. Uh, Dried of Ilzillian Grove lets us play additional lands as well as fixes our mana base so we can cast any spell without worrying about uh, the colors we have. We have three arrows for card advantage and ramp, uh, four song of creations, we have two cavalier thorns, uh, ramps us, fills our graveyard, stuff like that. Uh, the Luma Apex of Wishes is something I want to try out. So it really is the only mutate creature, so it has to mutate onto something else. When it does mutate, uh, it gives us the ability to exile cards from the... Basically, Blood Great Elf. You exile cards until you hit a non-land permanent, and then you get to put that uh, onto the battlefield or into your hand. Um, so it's kind of pseudo-card advantage as well. It is a big body. Um, so it's something I want to try out to see if it's more useful than just playing like another Cavalier of Thorns or something like that. Uh, for Beanstalk Giants, again, we just want to get ahead on mana. When we start churning through our deck, we want to have as much mana as possible. And then we have two Genesis Ultimatums. Um, so this basically says, haha, what is casting costs, teamer, don't hurt me. Um, so what we're looking at is look at the top five cards of your library, put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest into your hand, exile uh, a, a Genesis Ultimatum. So everything in the deck is a permanent other than these two Genesis Ultimatums. Um, so if you hit another one, then you just kind of chain them together. But that can either like ramp us five, it can put a bunch of threats onto the board. Uh, so there's a lot of ways we can kind of get ahead there. Uh, mana base wise, uh, we're playing a couple extra lands in the deck, but we have each of the shock lands. We have the tri land, the tricycle land, uh, and then we have a bunch of basics as well that we're fetching with the beanstalk giant. So no um, little elf dude that draws his card for adventure, no uh, lucky clover, we're not trying to go that team or adventure routes, we're just trying to gain uh, increased value off the saga creations. The wish board probably can use some work in progress, but without knowing what we're playing against, I just threw together some cards that could be situationally useful. Uh, some counters and negate in the same full stroke, some removal and Domri's ambush. Underworld breach, because we're discarding cards, can let us kind of combo out again and play cards from our graveyard. It's also permanent, so then we can get it back with something like Cavalier of Thorns. Um, we have Barrier Breach, which is exile up to three enchantments. We'll see if that's any use over something like Naturalize. This is a new card, so I want to test them out. Obviously, it's not tier one yet, but we want to see how these cards work. Ashiok to exile your opponent's graveyards. Abzan Color Pairing wants to play stuff out of the graveyard. 
Uh, Jace is an alternative win con to Thassa's Oracle. Uh, mass manipulation, we're gaining a lot of mana, let's steal their stuff. Uh, we have Mythos of Illumia, it's a clever impersonator style sorcery. Uh, we get to target a permanent if we pay teamer colors. Uh, you get to cast this spell instead, create a copy of that permanent that has, uh, if it's a creature, it fights another creature. Um, but we can copy stuff like Song of Creation to get four draws. We can play two lands extra each turn. Um, Tamiyo is another way to get stuff back from our graveyard or dig. Uh, Escape of the Wilds card advantage. Ember Cleave is just like an alternative. We have big creatures, let's or just a big board, let's swing out and win. Uh, Flood of Tears can reset the board. We will have usually the mana advantage, and discarding cards isn't really an issue. Um, we don't have like a clear board wipe. Like I could play um, Storm's Wrath, but I think we want to just keep Flood of Tears to just recycle and tempo them. Uh, another Genesis Ultimatum to fetch. Plain Wide Celebration could also get stuff back from our graveyard. So that's pretty much the list. Um, excited to see how this plays out. Uh, I think. The value that Song of Creation, there'll probably be some form of deck. I don't know if this is the shell, but this is something I want to try out. And there's a couple cards we'll kind of slot in and out. Uh, I think the Ultimatum is a good card, especially in these colors that's very easy to ramp into. Um, I don't know if Illuma is the card that we want, but we'll play it out, see how it goes, and uh, go from there. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. If you do have any deck lists you want to see, uh, do drop a comment, and we'll try to put it together before then. Otherwise, hope to see you on Wednesday, and uh, catch you next time.